Hey guys, it's Tori. Okay, so I saw this on Etsy and I thought it was super cute and it'd be a great uh, gift for Father's Day. So I wanted to walk you through uploading this and putting it together from start to finish. So let's get started. So the first thing I did was I added it to the cart and I, um, you know, I paid, checked out, and I downloaded it to the desktop. And I also bought the sticker here that you see on top of the hat because it was not included. And then let's go ahead and open Cricut Design Space and get started. Once you're in Cricut Design Space, you'll select New Project, Upload, Upload Image, Browse, and then you'll go to your desktop where you saved the file. And I have it right here. I'm going to do with scoring. Um, they had with and without scoring, so let's do with. And I'm going to do the small hat instead of the large. And I'm going to select the one that has all parts in one file. And then we'll want to, to uh, give it a name. Okay, and I'm going to select Upload. And um, before we add that to the canvas, I want to also upload the sticker. And I am going to upload the sticker as a um, as a, a PNG. And okay, and let's uh, select Complex and Continue and then apply and it's going to be a print then cut and then upload and then let me show you where I found um, the logo that I want to use I'm on logodix.com and I'll leave all the links um, in the description below and I typed in Lakers search And I am going to use, um, okay, I think it was this one. Okay, so let's close this out. And we are going to select download. And I'm going to save this to my desktop, back into Cricut, and upload image, browse. And I'm going to go to that. And I'm going to upload it as a PNG and complex. And then apply and continue, print and cut and then upload. And now we're ready to select all three. We're gonna select uh, the sticker and the logo and then the hat itself and hit add to canvas. Okay, so now we're gonna have everything that we need in this project. And let's go ahead and um, scroll. I'm gonna, right here I have, um, it displaying as 100%. I'm gonna just kind of make it a little bit smaller just so it's easier to um, maneuver around, but um, it'll still stay um, the dimensions, the big dimensions. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna shrink this a little bit um, and set it aside for now. And let's go ahead and save this as Father's Day gift box hat okay and then next time you pull up the project it'll have everything in it as is so um what i'm going to do first is click over here and i'm going to delete the baseballs because i'm not gonna want that in my project and then i am going to um, click on the first image and you can see on the right hand side it's kind of a darker gray than um, the grays that's below it. That's just, just showing you that this is um, the image that we selected. So what I wanna do is here, you see the score line, but it says basic cut. Um, click on that. Um, and then we're going to change that to a score. And then next, since we're in there, I'm going to change this to purple. And then now I'm going to hit attach. So now you can see the score lines, they look like little dashes. And so that one's done. And then we're going to do the exact same thing here. Um, here is the darker gray. And we're going to click on um, 
the basic cut and we're going to change that to a score. And I also want to change the color. So I'm going to change it to purple and attach. So that's done. And I'm just going to continue doing that. Um, and then we'll move on to the next. <laughs> So here we are going to um, look at this. We're going to turn this the other side. So I'm going to drag this over here and I'm going to arrange to the front and I'm going to just make this a little bit bigger. And then we're going to also go here and this is the, um, the tip of the hat. We are going to unlock this and make this a little bit smaller and just kind of move it over here so we can get the right size. And then we're going to arrange, bring to front. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. But I'm also going to drag it back here. And right now we're at 50%. So I'm just going to put it back at 100. And I am also going to put a name in there. So let me put um, to, to daddy and let's see if, let's go, well, let's go ahead and make it smaller. Find a color that kind of pops. I want to say white, but I don't know if you can print on white. I think you can. Okay, and let's see real quick too if there is a better font. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to do this like that. And since I want this to print, because um, I'm going to print this on a sticker and then apply it, I am going to select. Let me move this over because you just want to select these two. And then I'm going to hit flatten. So now when I print the sticker, I'm also going to print that. So now I think we're ready to get started. We we'll definitely want to hit save because after all that hard work, you don't have to, you don't want to have to redo it or lose it. And then next we are going to hit make it. And then this I'm going to print on um, a printable um, uh vinyl and I'm just going to load that into the color printer and it'll print and then I'm going to cut that um, out on the Cricut. So we're going to go ahead and hit continue and I'm going to select to printer and I'm going to turn the bleed off and then before I hit print let me go ahead and put the Cricut um, printable vinyl in there and we'll get started. Okay, so I put the Cricut vinyl in the pr color printer and um, I went to down here and search. I just typed in printers and I'm going to go ahead and change the printing preference. Um, so I have the best quality when I print it. So I'm going to select advance out of here. So actually I have it on better and I'm going to place it to best. And I'm going to hit apply and OK. And now I'm going to go back to Cricut and hit print. And then make sure you go back and <laughs> change it back to what it was uh, so you don't waste any ink. OK, so I just um, put the printable vinyl on the mat and we're going to go to browse all material. And I'm going to type in printable vinyl. And we're going to select printable vinyl. We know it's uh, checked. Since it's checked, we know it's selected it. And we're going to hit done. And now I'm going to place it in the Cricut Maker and press the arrow button. And then we're going to hit the Cricut button. Okay, so this just finished cutting and we're just going to take it off the mat. 
And we like to save the tape so we can use it on the next. And we're just going to set this aside. Let me just actually cut, I'll cut this piece out. And I'll show you how we do this. Let's set it aside. And then we're going to load the mat with the other part stock. Okay, so since we just uh, did this one, number one, um, we had the material as printable vinyl. We have to hit cancel. And then, um, are you sure you want to cancel? Yes. And then we're going to go continue. And this time we are going to select medium cardstock. And I like to change the pressure to more. And we are going to need a score tool and our yellow cardstock. So let's go ahead and load the mat. Okay, so I loaded the cardstock on here and I taped each, each side just to secure it. And now we need to change the tool and we are going to use a score tool which is 01 and we're going to put that in the B clamp, B by baby, <laughs> and then we're going to hit the Cricut button. Okay, so Cricut Design Space just popped up and said to change the tool to the fine point. So we're going to go ahead and do that and then press the Cricut button again. So this just finished cutting. I'm just going to remove the tape and save it for the next one. And then um, I like to turn my mat upside down and the paper can come right off. And then I'm going to load the next card stock on the mat and do the same thing and um, you don't have to go back in and change the material because we are using uh, cardstock for the remainder so all you're going to do is just replace the paper and hit the arrow button and um, for this one we're not going to need to score it says just cut so we'll just hit the Cricut button. And now we are on the purple. And this one we do need to score. Actually, the, we have two, um, two of these. This and one other. And both of those we do score. So they're both not going to be the same. You're just going to put the paper on the mat. Hit the Cricut button. I'm not I'm sorry, you're going to put that on the mat and hit the flashing arrow button. And then we're going to change this uh, tool to the score tool and hit the Cricut button. And Cricut Design Space lets you know when it's ready to change the tool again. And then you hit the Cricut button. And I just loaded our last um, paper and it's just repeat exactly what we just did. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is just kind of go over our pieces that we have. We are going to have two of these and we are going to have a one of these and then we should have, let me just separate it real quick, we'll have one of these and we're going to have six of these and six of these, which this is that, and then this. So let's start with these. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, look at the score line and we're going to fold. So the score line is like right there. Okay, so I'm going to fold right on the score line and then I'm going to bring these for, uh, forward. So it'll look just like this. And now I'm going to do it to the other five. So we just look for the score line and fold it and then bring these forward. Super easy. Okay, same. Same thing. That score line. 
doesn't want to fold. <laughs> okay, there you go. And bring this forward. And next one. And two more. Oops, sorry. Just move this out of the way. And bring forward. And one more. I'm just looking for the score line. And bring this forward. Okay. And we're just going to set these aside. And then I'm going to start with the next easiest thing. Or actually, I think this is the easiest. Okay, so what we're going to do first is... Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just use a glue stick and I'm going to just make sure I get um, all of this, especially close to the edges. And then I'm going to apply this on top of this and you just want to make sure that they align up with each other. And let's see, just kind of move this up a little bit more, okay. And I think that's perfect. Okay, so this is what we'll have. We're just gluing these two together. And that looks very nice. So we're gonna set that aside and set this aside. And now we're going to do the purple. Okay, so for this, we want, um, we're gonna do the project and this is always gonna be at the bottom. This right here is always gonna be at the bottom. And what we're going to do is line these up and we're going to attach them like that. So let's, I am going to, um, let me go ahead and I'm going to use the, I tried this project before and I did um, the glue stick and I just got glue all over on the visible part. And so this time I'm going to try to use the glue gun because I think that's what you're supposed to use anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just turning it on. Okay, so we are going to apply some glue and you gotta move fast because you don't want it to dry. Okay. And I'm going to line it up with this and just make sure it's aligned and then I'm going to put this down I think it dried already okay no it didn't okay okay some did some didn't okay so let's Okay, so two I have to redo. So let's do, let's do it like this. And let's do this one here. Okay. So there. <laughs> and we'll do what we'll do next time is just do maybe one or two at a time. Let's kind of take some of this off. And you don't see this anyway on the inside, so that's okay. Okay, so let's just clean this up. Okay, so now we are going to do the same thing. We are going to, let's just look, kind of line them up and see here, let's see. We wanna make sure that we have um, something to match okay so this actually should go because you want this to line up so this you know will go this way so I had to turn that the other way so let's just kind of set that there and then we're gonna have to change this again too and put that the other the other way 
because we're gonna want this to line up like that. And the other way. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't play the lotto. <laughs> and then this one there. And I guess I have to do the same with this one too. I did them all backwards. Which, um, so now you'll know that they're all the same direction. So I'm just going to just kind of do this. Set it aside. Okay, so now we are going to do, we're gonna attach this here. So I'm just gonna kind of place this down. And I think what worked best is if we kind of just did like uh, one or two at a time, because it dries too fast. So let's see. Okay, let's just do one so we can get it attached. It's lined up. Okay, and there. Definitely use a popsicle stick. You don't want to burn yourself. And it actually helps it um, secure better, I think. I'm trying not to use that much. You only need a little bit. But somehow I always have a little excess. Okay. Perfecto. All right, looking good. Okay, so we have this so far. And then we need to do the next one. We're going to place that here. And make sure it lines up. Okay, now we're going to do this one. And let's line it up. Let's do one. And let's do, I'm just doing the top and the bottom. And then I decided to do the middle. Let's do two. So that's done. We have one more. And line it up. We have all of these lined up and now we're going to attach this to here. So let's go ahead and we're gonna do it this way. So I'm gonna line it up again and let's just do, I hope you guys can see this. I'm gonna do one at a time. I hope I put enough glue on there. Let's make sure it's lined up. Okay, now we're going to do the top. Let's see. Wow. 
voila we're done with this okay so cool all right that was easy you guys it's just time consuming and you have to go slow so this is all set and it looks much better than the first time i did it because i used um this throughout and it just had glue marks everywhere okay i mean it stayed put though let me tell you it 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 stayed okay so now we are going to do this and this is very similar to this you have to make sure that you have um this all going in the right direction so let's just kind of set it up this way Okay, so we know like this will go here because you have to have this attached to a uh, plane. And then we'll have like this. And this. And this. And this. Okay, so with that being said, <laughs> we need to turn this this way. So all I'm going to do is just fold these over and there's like a little score line there. Okay. And then this is going to go to this. And so this is going to go down. And there's this right here at the top. We can just push that down as well. Like that, okay. So these two will match. And now this will go to this. So we'll want to fold this down. And what I'm doing right now, you can do the exact same thing with, um, I should have done that, with the other six pieces, just so you can um, know which way it should go. Okay, so this is this way, and this is going to go to there, so this goes down. And then this will go to here. We'll put this down. I think that helps if you just kind of talk it out and confirm. Okay, and the last one is like that. So this one goes down. Okay. Okay. So to get started, we are going to glue this to this. So I'm going to kind of just do it this way. And I'm going to line them up like this. And I am going to start with like the first two. Let's, uh, so I think the important thing is just go slow. Take your time. And then it just gets easier, I think, the more that you do. And we'll put these down. Okay. And let me get this glue off the popsicle stick. Okay. That's done. And then I think when I'm, ah, it came right off, didn't it? I guess I need to do a little bit more glue. Okay, so let's do this. Line it up. And we'll do one. Oops. Oh, it just turned off. Let me turn it back on. That really helps if it's hot. <laughs> so just give it a second. Okay, so before I glue these together, I am going to flip them over real quick this way. And I have these little circles, just right here. And I'm just going to rub a little glue. Can you see that? Just a little bit of glue. And I'm going to apply that centered. So it'll look like that. And I'm going to do that very carefully to each one because I don't want to get um, glue on the outside. Okay. 
and just kind of line it up. Let's see, just like that. Let's press. Okay, and let's do this one. Okay, and three more. I mean, I'm going to be very careful because I don't want to get glue on the outside of um, this. So let's just line this up. Okay. And one left. And you don't have to do this. I just think it might look cute. It might look nice. Just, you know, more detail to it. I think some people do it. Some people don't. Okay, so now I'm going to... Let me move this cord. I'm going to put some glue, now that it's hot. I'm going to put a little bit of glue. Let me wipe this off. Hold on. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here and I'm going to yeah, make sure it lines up and apply it down. A little excess there. Okay. And I'm going to do the one next to it. I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay, and let's just go oh. like four up. So this would be the third. Uh, no. <laughs> I didn't think you could stand on that. And keep in mind, this is on the inside, so you're not going to see any mess. I may have put a little too much there. There. Okay. And. Then what I'm going to do, get some of the glue off of me, I am going to kind of uh, fold this up like this and I am going to um, I'm gonna kind of bend this down. I'm going to attach glue up here. So let's do that first and um, I apologize if you can't see what I'm doing. It's kind of hard to maneuver. Okay, so we're just put the glue on there. I'm going to line this up and then use the um, popsicle stick. Perfect. Okay. Now it's going to be like this and it's going to be so much easier to apply the other glue. This one got a little bit down. Okay. So let's just kind of pick these up a little bit so I can stick the glue under. Okay, so let's go ahead and do, you also want to kind of make sure it kind of stays out. So it's, um, you know, so it looks nice on this side as well. Okay, so let's do this one. And this keeps turning off. So I'll we'll have to do it super fast. Let me try to turn this back on. I think I hit the power button off like when I'm doing it. And I don't mean to. Let me push that one up. Let's move these two up. And remember we're kind of pushing back because we also want it to look nice on the other side. So just take your time. It's easier to go slow and take your time than to have to like recut everything. Okay. And I just skipped one. I need to go there and get that one. Maybe 
and I have two left. One, two. Okay, perfect. Okay, I think that looks very nice. Okay, now we are going to add I'm going to add this one next. And my thought is, since we have five of these, you know, with just the um, plain, and then this is the sixth one, looks like this, I thought I would put this in the middle. To me, that makes sense. So, let's do that. And let's go ahead and... Do the first one like we did before. Make sure it's lined up. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna try to do like two or three of them. Let's see. And then we're going to do the top. Okay, so we're going to kind of um, bend this a little bit. I arch it. And this is going to, let's do this. Let's push these down. So this is down, then this is down. And you know what I'm going to do? Well, let's do this first. Okay, so let's, I hope you can, I'm gonna turn it this way so you guys can see. I don't know if if I'll be able to see. Okay, so this one right here is the top. And I am going to push this back and let's just put this here and quickly line it up, up here. And then I want to apply there. I need to push this out a little bit. You don't get a lot, lot of, let me move this. You don't get a lot of wiggle room with glue gun. Yeah, I had to take that off real quick. Um, I apologize, I have to see what I'm doing. Let's do it, let's do it. Um, okay, let's do it here. Okay, and there, perfect. Let's get this. Okay, perfect. Okay, I just wanted to make sure it was lined up nicely back here as well. Okay, so. Now, we are going to do the rest in here. So I'm just going to kind of bring this down like this just to make it easier to get the glue back there. Okay. Let's do... Let's push this down. Okay, so let's do... Ah, that just burnt me. Okay, this is getting harder. <laughs> okay. And I have glue all like that sticking to me. Okay. Let's see how we can get in there. Let's do it this way. Okay. I'm gonna put a dot there and I'm gonna push it down. Push. Now what I'm doing is I'm just putting a, a drop and then I'm pushing it down with this. I guess that makes sense, huh? Actually, that's a really good idea because I can kind of maneuver it up and do that. Okay, perfect. Okay, you guys, then I can kind of go over it. Just reinforce it if it needs it. And I think it's perfect. Okay. Now, we're going to do this to here. We gotta kind of open it again. And let's 
do this. Now this is my second hat. So I hope it turns out. And then we're going to do the same thing up here. You want to arch it like that. Okay, so let me go ahead and put this here. Bring this over and push down. Okay. And then, um, I apologize if you can't see, I am just opening these. Let me push this one back in there, got out. Okay. I'm just kind of pushing these up and I'm going to apply the glue like I just like I did before. So let's do this and it turned off. I'm still winning though. Look, I'm still winning. Let's see if it'll still kind of come out. It's oh, no, I didn't need to do that. I don't just die. No, I, I had for some. Meh. I forgot that I can't do that. Okay. I have one shot. Okay. I think that hit my finger. Okay, we got those. We need more glue. Okay, so we have two left. Okay, now let's do this to here. I'm going to open that up a little bit. And I'm folding these down. I'm really not positive on. I have in, in the videos I've seen, it wasn't really clear to me like what they're doing, but what I'm going to do is glue them all down, like on top of one another, but I want to do this first. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up a little bit, and we're going to apply the glue right here. Just like that. Let's see if I can do one more. And we want to arch, arch it. And I'm gonna flip it this way. Right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just kind of put a little dot there right up here I see you. and then try to attach that by arching it let's see I, see that I think it starts to get harder once you get to like this one's a little separated. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna take that one off because I just think that I can do it better. It's just, let's do a little bit more here. Because I think it's 
not staying very well. Okay, so I'm gonna do like maybe a couple more here because it needs to stay. Okay, so. Then I'm going to arch it because I want this part to stay better. And let's fix that right there. Let's, uh, Now we're arching it. So let's, let's take this little piece off. And it'll be like this. So let's do glue here. And we're gonna just apply it like this. Okay, so let's just make sure that this sticks first before we go to the next. I don't know if I put enough there. Okay, so we're just opening this, and then I'm going to pick these up so I can glue them. Okay, actually, wrong side. <laughs> okay, let's do this right here. Okay. This is definitely harder. Okay, so let's. Oh, okay. Ignore what I just did. <laughs> just ignore like the last 20 seconds. Alrighty, now we are going to get the last one. Okay, so we're going to pull this out. And what I'm going to do is do like maybe a couple down here and we just want to line it up and let's see. Okay. Line up down. And I'm just going as far as I can where it looks like it's, um, you know, lined up. Let's push this in here. Okay. Okay, so we're getting there, you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, so we are going to do the top. We're going to do the top right here and then kind of put that there. So let's... Put the glue there and arch it like this. And I need to kind of, uh, I'm trying to press it down the other side without burning myself. Just flip it over. I don't think I did a good job there. Let's move this out here. Okay. Okay. Let's. Take that glue off and let's, that. let's try it this way, okay? Let's in here and down. Okay. get these and just have a few I'll put it like this it just came off okay 
Now, this is definitely hard when you get to the end. Let's take the glue off right here so it's not, you know. Okay, so what's hard is you don't want to push it down with your finger and get burnt. So let's see how we can maneuver this. Let's do... Let's see what we can do. Let's do a little bit right here. Push that down. And we're arching it. Okay, perfect. Now I just have to get in there and align it. Okay, so push this down, let's move this. You just have to find like a weird position and then hurry and go super fast. And keep in mind you wanna keep it um, as much as, keep it, uh, lined up as much as you can on the opposite side. Okay. Okay, yay. All right, one more side. Okay, now, this to here. And this I'm gonna push down, this thing on the top. I'm gonna push it down. Okay, so now let's do it this way. I actually, I'm gonna start from the top. Let's see, maybe I'm not. We're gonna arch both of it. Okay, perfect, arch, arch, arch. Okay, let's do this. And arch. I just need an extra hand to help me push this down. Okay, perfect. Once you get it, then, you know, just get a few and it stays. That's a good thing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I have this one. I'm going to do this just so it's more secure. And it's hard to see. Okay. And I have to say I admire anybody that makes this hat. You would just have to be super patient. But it is super cute. So it is worth it. I mean, looking back now, it really wasn't that hard. It was just, it's your, it's really my second time and just my first time with the glue gun, using the glue gun with this project. So it's just trying to figure out, you know, how to do it. I think the more you do it, obviously it's gonna get easier. Okay, yay, I'm so happy. Let me just make sure that these are down. And, okay, perfect, let's fix this one. And I'm just going to touch up any that need it. 
feel like I missed this whole row right here. I really did. I wonder how it stained. Okay. Okay, awesome. Okay, so now all the hard part is done. Okay, so what we're going to do is put this right here. And what I did was I had, I pushed every all of those little things down. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna put it, let me see here. I'm gonna put it on here and then apply it because I don't want to put it like not in the right spot. Okay. All right. Okay. This one actually should go in there, but you know what? It's in the back. You won't see it. All right. So let's go ahead and fold this. Now what we need to do is apply this on here. So let's see which way fits best or looks the best. Let's do Let's see. Okay. I'm trying to see which what looks the best out of what I've done. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna do it just like this, okay? So, what I'm going to do is apply some glue and put that down right there. Okay, so I have this in here just like this and I'm just going to pick this up a little bit like that and then apply the glue and then push it down. Let's see sure that's all good so I'm gonna hold it in the spot and just kind of go a little bit I'm just doing a little bit just um, I can always go back and touch it up just to so I can get most of it down okay I have a little bit there now it'll hold why I put a little bit here back here Okay, and then I'm going to put a little bit right here. And press it down. And a little bit, we'll do here, just push this up. Let's do a little bit right there and make sure that it looks good. Hold it down. Wipe a little excess glue. And then we have this side right over here. Okay. And then we just have one more side. The front. Okay, and I'm gonna do it from the inside so I don't uh, drip any glue on the little visor part. So, yay, 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 yay. That's super nice, you guys. So if you're thinking about doing it with um, the glue stick, don't do it. <laughs> okay, so this here will go right inside and this is just like a little liner and it just makes it look nicer inside so you can put like tissue paper or that little shredded paper okay now what i'm going to do you can see here there's score lines on this side kind of like the visor you know like a typical visor would look so i'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue here really fast and because it dries fast and then i'm going to sorry I'm going to place it uh, right in there. Perfect. Looks good. Okay, now the cool fun part. 
Okay, just real quick, you can see here if that bothers you, we can just go ahead and, you know, which it does, it bothers me. Just apply a little glue there and then just kind of push it down. And I can just go all the way around. See how much nicer that looks? And then we're gonna do the same, like, let's see. Do I need, it's like, like right, I kind of don't, kind of do. Let's see right there, and right there. And let's do that. Okay, I like actually using the glue gun because if you get any excess, you can just kind of like um, wipe it off just by rubbing it back and forth. Okay, yay. Okay, so now what we're going to do is dun, dun, actually we're done with the glue gun let's turn it off okay so we have this super there. cute made with love and we're going to peel it off because remember we did it as a sticker and here it has a little bit excess of the white so i'm going to cut that very carefully and let's see Sometimes you get a little bit of white excess. Let's take this off. Let me see, there's a little bit. I thought I saw a little bit, yeah, right there in the light, but otherwise you wouldn't see it. Okay. Then I'm going to place this right here. So it looks like that. And then this part goes in the back. This would be this side right here. And um, then we're going to put the Lakers. This is the sticker here as well. We're going to pull this off. And we're going to put this right here. Yay! What do you guys think? That's my first one. It's not, I don't think it's that bad. Um, using my first time with the glue gun. It's super cute, and it's um, it's a super super cute gift for Father's Day, or just it's just a cute way to give a gift. You know, whether it's a gift card, little candy, little chocolate. You know, isn't that so cute, you guys? So um, I'll leave all the uh, details below. And as always, thanks for watching my tutorial. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll get back with you. If it's your first time watching my video and you liked it um, and you wanna see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Bye guys, see you in the next video, bye.